So hi, this is Kevin Jones. I'm the Executive Director of SACIA. Next week, we're going to be running our uh, elections for a new board. We have several great candidates that have put themselves forward to, uh, to serve on the board. One of those is Sue Gannon. Sue's uh, an old friend of mine. She has a long history in uh, association service. Uh, and so, Sue, welcome to this uh, to this discussion. Um, I was hoping. Good morning. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I was hoping you could just give us some insight into into who you are because uh, you're relatively new to the Sakia family. So, um, so perhaps you yes, could talk a little bit about your involvement <clears throat> in, in the broad communications industry and specifically uh, the development of SEPA and its integration into Sakia. Fine. Yes. Hi. Um, Kevin, I've been involved mainly with exhibitions all of my um, working life, latterly running the um, EXA, the Exhibitions um, Association. And um, I've started life out in exhibitions in uh, 1975, so way, way back, um, running Decorex and um, bridal shows, Rooms on View, and latterly towards that career running awards ceremonies. But um, then I joined EXA, which is the Exhibition Association for Southern Africa, ran that association for several years. And during that time, um, obviously my knowledge of exhibitions, we formed an association with SARKI, which is the conference segment of the industry, and IFEA, which is festivals. So the three associations um, put some funding together and we formed SEPA. And uh, that is the Council for Event Professionals, which we looked at um, starting skills development and regulating the industry and getting professional designations. And that's where our SACIA came into the uh, process because SACIA already had the professional body. We were going through the same route with SACWA, the Qualifications Authority. And we felt it pertinent to join up with SACIA and um, forward our, our goals again through you. Exhibitions, festivals, it's all part of the marketing scenario, if you like, in the industry. So, and it's a very good fit. I've known TPSA for many, many years. And um, yeah, it's just a good all round fit for all of us. Yes, absolutely. When I look at it, I see uh, the Council of Event Professionals, the TPSA Council, and of course, our event safety council, all three of them very actively involved in the events sector, all of them developing and awarding professional designations that recognize the skill and the competence of, of, of industry professionals working in that sector. Um, uh, so I was going to ask you next about your past involvement with SACIA. I, I think we've kind of outlined that, but you, you are a member of the SEPA council. Um, what is, it, what is it that you're expecting to contribute towards the SACIA board over the next two years? Well, I think, as I've said, bringing the whole event um, professionalism into the into your program, into your to, with your members, as you mentioned, the the uh, event safety council, TPSA, are very part of our our um, bodies as well. So I think just professionalizing, certifying our members and, and bringing skills to, to bringing up the level from shop floor level. That's always been a passion of mine. We've, you know, we've got guys that, that build shell schemes and have a fantastic knowledge of, of putting a show together, but they've never had the opportunity to, to certify themselves, professionalize themselves. So I'd like to build on that um, with you know, various qualifications, designations going forward and just rounding up everybody to work together. You know, we've all been working in silos, which is, is ridiculous. And I think this COVID thing has certainly brought us all together more meaningfully. And um, yeah, let's, let's go forward from here, onward and upward. That's what I say. Very nice. Absolutely. So uh, we're going to be opening the, uh, the elections or the voting on, uh, on Monday morning. Before we do that, at nine o'clock on Monday, we're going to be hosting a webinar with all of the board nominees uh, so that members eligible to vote can post questions. If anybody has any questions that they'd like to ask of Sue, please send them through to questions at sakia.org.za. And uh, if you register, uh, you can register for the webinar at the link below. Um, 
we I, I'm very excited. I think we've got some great nominees to to serve on the SACIA board going forward. Um, and uh, and I think Sue and, and the work that she's been doing within the Council of Event Professionals uh, is absolutely a, a great candidate worthy of your consideration. So, Sue, thank you for joining us, and uh, I'll speak to you again on Monday morning. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Okay.